Hey guys, it's me Sam and um, I was being a little bit bored so I thought I'd do a couple of videos this afternoon to try and obviously occupy my time and entertain you guys at the same time. Now obviously um, my last video was uh, Christmas Day with me and my daughter and although you did get to see me opening presents you probably really didn't get to see much of the actual thing that I was looking at and so with it, I am going to do that in this video so you guys get a closer look at some of the things that I received on Christmas Day. So um, obviously I had quite a bit, more than I expected. Still completely in awe at what Claire did. I just, yeah, Claire, you're a star. So let's begin. The first two items are these two books from Claire. Talk about a difference. Hmm. Now, I'm going to start off with this one. It's, it's called High Fidelity and it's by Nick Hornby. And uh, I'm not usually into these kind of books. I read the description on the back, giving you an insight into what the book's about, the story, and I think it's um very appropriate, Claire. Very, very much indeed. <laughs> um, I'm going to really enjoy reading that. Thank you very much. Um, and the second book that she got for me was this one called The Mists of Avalon by Marion Simmer Bradley. And I love these kind of books. These are I'm kind of like, and it's so going to take some reading. That's going to keep me occupied for like weeks on the bus to work and back. So I'm very, very impressed with these. Very much indeed. The next gift I'm going to show you is once again from Claire, and it's it's this. Do you know how much I like this? It's just, it's gorgeous, Claire. It's, it's like the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my damn life. And it's like, what possessed you? <laughs> it, it's like, it's so damn cute. Just, just look at it, everybody. Just look at it. How can you not like that? It's absolutely bloody adorable. I'm going to sleep with it tonight. Now, obviously, Claire sent me a lot of things, so they are going to be seen throughout this video, but I think one of the best things that Claire sent me, my most favourite thing that Claire sent me, was this. It's just so bloody awesome. I can't believe just how stunning. It's beautiful, and it looks exactly like a tattoo that I was thinking of getting from the 40th, but then I never bothered doing it. But, Claire, this is beautiful and I shall enjoy setting my old up again and having that pride of place on in the middle. I just, I can't wait to get, just, oh, no idea what you're doing there, but it just means so, so much that you, you got me that and I just can't think of words to describe it. Now, Claire, as well as the uh, rest of you will know just how much I like chocolate. And Claire got me chocolate. Lots of chocolate. Nom. So much chocolate there. Nom. That's all I'm going to say. Nom. And, and it's the gummy bears. Papa gummy bears. I haven't opened them yet. I'm trying to resist the eggs to do so right now. So I want to taste one. These. Right, we, we get gummy bears in the UK. And some are okay. Some of them are like, oof, these American gummy bears, and I know American gummy bears are completely different to ours, they're more fruity, they're more nom nom tasting in your mouth. Gummy bears. Okay, my next gift that I'm going to show you is, um, I find confusing, I mean I like that he bought me something, and I'm, I'm talking about my Gucci Guilty, I've never worn or tried or ever existed in my life anything to do with Gucci. Well, nothing real anyway. I still can't understand why he bought me this. Um, why didn't he ever buy me anything like that when we were together? But I, I, I do appreciate that he, he bought it because, oh God, guys, it smells so gorgeous. It really is beautiful. And I love the packaging. How blinging is that packaging? It's all bling bling. Proper bling bling. It, it, I know it cost him a bit of money. So that that was nice that he spent money on me. But it's just confusing. 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, a dispense set that I had from his aunt Angela. Uh, I still haven't opened it to see what's inside this. It's a bit difficult because it's got plastic shit on it and you, you can't rip it open. But, but I know bench shit and crap so it's it's going to be good stuff no matter what. And I just wish I, I, just wish I could get it open and then I'd be able to smell it and I can't, I can't, ah, I'm not strong enough. I still think my necklace of Jessica's boyfriend Luke is bloody gorgeous. And I'm very impressed that he gave me something very, very pretty like this. I just think it's very cute of him and it's lovely, it's really thoughtful. I like that. I like it a bloody lot. Uh, next we've got this. I'm st I, I went and double checked, you know, to make sure whether I, I, I was imagining things or not. But I'm, I'm talking about this. It's L'Oreal's Magic Nude Liquid Powder. Now, I'm wearing... Well, I'm not wearing it today. I wore it yesterday. Today I'm just wearing a little bit of tinted moisturiser. I just wanted to keep my... And that's what I look today. Um... But I wore it yesterday and I was really, really impressed with it because it stayed on all blooming day. Even when I was sweating my tits off cooking the Christmas dinner. It stayed put. Really, really like foundations like that. Why? <laughs> now I had these smellies of Claire as well. And do you know what? Oh, that smells so good. And I remembered you've bought me this before and I think I really, really liked it last time. And I just obviously forgot just how good... It smells, oh my life, I just adore that. It's Secret Wonderland, Signature Collection and Bath and Body Works. And it's just, it's just lovely. Oh, I love it. Um, the next thing that impressed me from Claire was, oh my goodness, I still can't believe you've got this. I've had so many good reviews about this mascara on the internet and on YouTube and everywhere else basically and it's benefits their real mascara. I I I've just always like looked at them thought, that'd be nice to have. Apparently it gives you 94% uh so dramatic length and volume like 90% saw based to tick curl. I haven't tried it yet. I really ought to let's let's have a go right now if I can get it open. Right now I have got a little bit of mascara on, but not nothing too spectacular. So let, let's have a go. Shit! Did you see that? Whoa! I've got lashes all of a sudden. My lashes just went boom. That's that's crazy. Look. Look at the difference. Whoa! That's oh I like. Claire, look, I've got lashes. <laughs> that, that's my, that's my, yeah. I've got lashes, Claire. I've got, just, I've got lashes, everyone. Look at this. That is really freaky. I, I like that mascara. I like it a lot. Claire also got me a shed load more makeup. Just shed loads. This may inspire me to do a giveaway soon. Um, I'm going to have a clear out through my makeup and I thought I might have owned some of this stuff for a while and that half is not really ever been used or touched so it seems such a shame that it's just sitting there going to waste when I could just pass it on to somebody else who would probably use it and appreciate it more than myself. So yeah, yeah. first of all there was a lipstick from Elf. Nice deep red look lipstick. My favourite colour. Um, there are also these Jumbo eyeshadow sticks from e.l.f. that she got me as well. Uh, this one's Rock Out, which I established to be a bit of a goldy colour. But I don't know. I still haven't opened it up to have a look. Maybe I should do so. It might help. Hey, okay. come here. I'm going to attempt to swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh, it's like a dark goldy colour. Oh, look at it, it's blinging. Is it? It's so shiny. That feels like it's going to stay put. I'm just blending it in, obviously, because you just wouldn't just go Ugh! with it on your eye right now, would you? Oh, would you? Please tell me you don't. But I'm just blending that in and, oh, yes. I can see that having some very good lasting power there. 
I'm not going to open the other ones up because I'm, I'm a bit OCD like that. I should even attempt now. We will we see all this. How sad am I? Like? There you go. You'd never know. But this one's called Turkish Coffee. It's like a darkish browny colour. And then this one is called uh, Bally Bounds. And no, it's a greeny colour. So you got like quite oriental sounding names um, from elf we've also got this blush and bronzer set so it's so glittery and uh in what we say uh it says create healthy natural glow all year long blush highlights the cheeks add the blush color while the bronzer accents and contours cheek bones for beautiful definition use the blush aren't they? yeah i think i know how to use the shit ma i don't need to read that crap but what I liked about this was, if I can get it open, don't rip, don't, don't rip, please don't rip. It comes with a little kabuki brush. Now I have heard that elves kabuki brushes are very good indeed. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed just to get that on it. So stuff the blusher. I'll just have to brush. But that's what the blusher and bronzer look like. It's a duo compact that's what it looks like inside and the pink's kind of glittery very girly that's probably why it says to highlight it because then mm, the sun's is plastic yeah so enjoy using that what else we got here quite elf we also have loads of eyeshadows tons of the buggers so read the back, it says convenient and easy to apply, just allow the colours to achieve your side look. Apply wet or dry for fabulous look that never creases or fades. And then again, it starts to tell me how to use it. Apply the light brightening pot. Which one's that one then? No, 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 no. it must be that one. Um, apply that to the inner corners of the eyes. And then apply a medium brightening eye pot to the upper eyelids. I think I'll just do it my way, but I'm I'm itching to use these. I might I might actually try them tomorrow. I was going to buy myself this. Claire saved me some money. <laughs> I saw this on their website. It's their um, blush palette, sugar and spice. And what I like about Makeup Revolutions products is that it gives you an indication of what you're buying by putting the colours on the back. That impresses me a lot. But this is what it looks like inside. And this is just to me perfect, ideal. Every girl should have one. Simple as that. You've got your contours, you've got your highlighters, you've got your brush and brushes. What more could you ask for? Simple as that. I mean just look at it. I love this, Claire. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. As I said, you saved me some pennies there. But you always shock me when you buy it, like, Claire sends me makeup now and then, as it is, and she always surprises me every time by getting me things that I just think, no, I now possess this product, and and I, I just respect the lady a lot for doing that for me, and it's not very often I get things from my subscribers, but I don't like to see Claire as a subscriber to me, she's a very close and personal friend now. I consider her one of my best friends and I adore the bloody woman especially more so when she does things like this I mean she's already bought me one pagan um, present but to, this this ah oh, right I'll begin from the start many years ago I was a fully practicing witch and when you perform a ritual or a spell or anything of that kind of thing uh, there were certain things that a, a witch would need to require. It took me many years to get together the very few things that I did have. Um, for example, I, I had a gorgeous cloak that was made by one of my friends that was destroyed. I had a staff that my previous friend Sean made for me that was destroyed. I had an absolutely gorgeous wand. It had a black skull on the end, and it just looked amazing. And 
that got destroyed. And I also used to own a, a pentacle that used to be on my altar and that was destroyed. Hence why I was mad up when Claire sent me a replacement. And I also used to own an absolutely beautiful dagger, which cost me a fortune. But I saved up and I treated myself to it and they destroyed it. Um, to receive this as a replacement, I'm going to get it out now. No, YouTube, I have no plans on killing anybody with this. This is a ritual tool, nothing more and nothing less. It's upside down, so it makes me look like I'm a scientist. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really. <laughs> Let's get it the right way around. There we go. <laughs> I'm not a devil worshipper, honestly, please believe me, guys. I'm going to get you. Just, yeah, let, yeah. Um, it's got a pentagram, or as I like to call pentacle, on it. The blade itself is superb. It has a, sharp, a slight sharp edge to it on this side, whereas this one's more blunter. It's, it's beautiful. It's just, it's nice to hold. Be nice to infert my god scene with. I'm so made up by it. And best of all, it comes in a sheath as well, so I can attach that to my belt. I've still got my belt. It didn't destroy that, no. I hid that well. But yeah, I can now attach that around my waist. Jobs are good, then. Now, before I move on to my big mountain of clothes that Claire sent me, I'm first of all going to show you this. I think this is absolutely excellent. I know this doesn't look much. I mean... I thought it was a man bag when Jess first opened it for me, by accident. She did, honest. We thought it was a man bag. Once I did establish what it really was, which is a makeup brush holder, I kept looking at it and going, how would you wear that? But no, that's not very useful, is it? It's not very useful at all. This morning, it dawned on me, Sam, you don't wear it over your shoulder, you stupid woman. You wear it like this. Like that, guys. Okay? So, you, you take that back, you put it back there. It's a professional makeup brush holder. It really is the real thing. Now, I can put my brushes in there. And if I am working on anyone, jobs are done. I can just take out my brushes like so. And go, <laughs> pop it back in. I couldn't have asked for anything better, especially as I'm trying to get people to recognise me more now. With my makeup, I'm going to start encouraging people to let me do their makeup for them. I had one lady at work, Rachel, right? asked me if I could do a makeup one day. I don't know if she was being serious or not, but I would love to do a makeup. And there's also another lady in the office as well, Amanda. She's one of the um, top dogs, basically. And I, I just think she's a, such a stunningly beautiful woman. But she, she never does anything with her face. I know she doesn't have time. I know she's got small kids and all that. Been there, done that. I know what it's like, love. Trust me. Um, but, oh, God, I think she could be absolutely gorgeous if I let rip her face. I just, oh, yeah, this, yeah, and I'd like to do some of the girls as well, the younger girls, some of them, um, beautiful, beautiful girls, but I just go too much over the top of the makeup, and I don't think they need to. I'd like to do their makeup for as well. But this is what we've got inside, that actually came with brushes. Now, I, they don't feel like shit quality, they feel really nice, actually. I do come these quite much to the um, Sigma brushes. But I have no idea who they're made by because there's nothing on there to indicate who. They can't be MAC. They can't be MAC. What do you recognise? Do you recognise these brushes? If I just take that bit off for a second, does anybody recognise these brushes? Have you seen them before anyway? Because I don't know. They're really soft. They're lovely. Oh, God, I'm having, no, I'm not. I, ooh, I was getting a funny turn over that because, oh, we need and everything. Right, let's move on to the mountain of clothes that I've received from Claire. I'm going to have a big clear out of my wardrobe tomorrow. Anything I can see the nuggy vibe, we should be going in the bin. Well, actually, I won't put it in the bin. I'll put it into the charity bin across the road. I shall be a good girl and share my clothes with others. A couple of these items aren't actually from Jessica, but I, well, I, just, I just want to point that out. There are a couple of things that are definitely from my daughter, but the majority of this mountain of clothes is from Claire. She's still, oh dearie, mate, I just, 
What? Let's be, I want to show you this. It's gorgeous. It's this. I don't know, but maybe if I stand back. Okay, right. This top here. Got a nice bit of frilly stuff going on around it. And I just love the colour. And I, I can see me flouncing this at work. With my red boots and my black trousers or skirt underneath it. Next thing from the pile is this gorgeously thick, warm cardigan. I just want to put this on now because it just feels so soft and snuggly. Really snuggly. But I'm going to appreciate wearing that. Actually, give us a second. I've decided to try them on. Sod it. Right, that's the red top from before. Oh my God, just look at that on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, don't I look classy? <laughs> there you go. That's the car they are. I'm just going to do at least some of the buttons up if I can remember how to do buttons. I look like a retard trying to do buttons because my nails are so long at the moment. But there we go. There's a bit of an idea of what it looks like now. I could just easily wear that open, like so, and a nice pair of pearls underneath. Or I could just like, do it up and look like plain Jane Super Grain. Well, it's so warm and soft and snuggly. Oh, I love this dress so much. From the minute I pulled it out from the wrapping paper, I instantly fell in love with it. I just think it's gorgeous. It's like, it's like, it's like my very own Morticia dress. Look at it. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these. Oh, anything with tulip sleeves and... That's it, I'm easy, man. Oh, but look at it, it's just so classy. I'm going to really enjoy wearing this. Yeah. Right, Um, one of my favourite colours is emerald green. And weirdly enough, I don't actually own anything in emerald green. So when I pulled this out, oh my God, I screamed like a little girl. Over that, I, I just, I think I sounded like a raving lunatic, basically. But... Now, I know I'm wearing a red flipping top underneath, but just pretend it's not there. Ignore it, it's invisible. It, I love how it flares out over me. It actually makes me look like I've got a friggin' waist. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't had a waist in ages. <laughs> Next there was this gorgeous grey and black stripy jumper. That, once again, makes me look like I've got a waist. That's impressive. It must be the stripes. That's where I'm going wrong. I'm obviously wearing too thin a stripe, but that actually makes me look like I've got... Oh, dear, and then I turn around and you see my bum, and then you realise, oh, my God, no, turn back round, Sam. But from the from the front, I actually look half decent. I like this. I like it a lot. Now, before we say it, now, it's not the same cardigan I was wearing before. It's the one that Claire sent me. I'm just going to try it on now and see what it looks like. I feel so rare because I hadn't tried any of these before. There you go, guys. I have now. And I love it. Oh, it's nice and it's loose. And I like the way it drops down as well and covers me bum. Yes, it covers that well. So that gets a thumbs up from me. I still think this is absolutely adorable. For those of you that didn't get to see me, it was actually most of you didn't get to see me actually wearing this properly because I cut myself out quite a bit in that video. But this is the look at it. Just look at it. It's so cute. And nobody else will have one. I will be the exclusive person to have one of these. To everyone in Bromsgrove and Redditch. Yeah. Now, I'm, I've been trying to change my image a lot lately. I don't like being boring looking. I don't, I don't want to look my age, basically. But at the same time, I don't want to look like mutton dressed as lamb. Um, I just, I still like to look classy, but sometimes I want a bit of a, a rock queen goddess kind of look. So, you know, similar to what I'm wearing today. If it's a bit cowboyish, I don't know. But I like things with sequins, but not sequins, studs, you know what I mean? This kind of thing. So, um, when I pulled out this, and I seen the shoulders, I was like, oh my god. I'm not going to try it on. Okay, I've desperately tried to hide as much redness as I possibly could, but look at that. Look, it's better than my red top. I like the way, it, oh, I like, oh, look at that. I like where that drops down. 
and that I'm just gonna look awesome with my new flipping. I got I bought myself some new jeans from River Island. Like rip looks to them. They look awesome. This will go with it so well. Oh, I can't forget these little leg warmers with pom poms on them. This is so cute. Very cute. I'm going to wear them with my black boots when it's cold. They should keep my bloody legs warm, I know that much. Next we've got this little cute cardigan that I could probably just get away with just wearing as a top on its own, you know. And I love the little frilly lace effect on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Try and... Can you see it? It's like all pretty and lacy and as I said, I could get away with wearing that on its own. Nice little necklace to go with it. Black skirt. Heels. Good. I don't think this top really goes with the red shit underneath it, but I had to get this on as soon as possible. This is this gorgeous, just look, tulip, tulip leaves, leaves, sleeves again. And um, it's, it's just, I'd, I'd have to wear this maybe with my black jeggings or something. The red just isn't making it look good at all. But I love the sleeves. And, and it's weird, this top's from New Look. Do you have new look in the States? I don't know. Right, next we have this gorgeous velour. I think it's velour. I don't know. It's lacy. Not velour, am I thinking of your plank? But it's a nice little classy um, vest top. And I just like, like just I like it for me. Stop it. Look, it, I look thin. I look I look like half decent here. What's going on? Oh, I, I, I'm completely spoiled for choice for clothes now. This, this was the first pop, first top that I pulled out from the um, the parcel and it got a little, little tiny ribbon here just really really soft comfy wearing clothes and it's just really nice and smart and I love the pattern on it as well seems to be giving the slimming down effect again and finally we have the Lady Van Pyrick top oh this is just adorable I need to get this on right now Right, I've, I've hit as much of the red top underneath it as I possibly could. But if this doesn't scream vampire, I don't know what is. Oh, God, that is absolutely gorgeous. That's so pretty. Oh, oh, go away, red top underneath. That's better. But I love the lace effect. Oh, I look all gothic -y. And not me. Let me step back a bit, see what I look like. Oh, gosh, that's lovely. I love it. Claire, these clothes are just absolutely awesome. I just thank you. And how on earth could I forget these? My ghost socks. Look at them. They're so cute. They're cute. They're so cute. My daughter was also lovely enough to get me some clothes for Christmas. This thing is this gorgeous looking top here. Now, as much as I like to wear black, there are times when I do like to have a bit of colour in my own um, my wardrobe, and sometimes I do like to look a little bit girly. I know, it scares me too. She brought me this like peachy pink little number here. Nice little white vest top underneath to uh, hide me puppies away from the world and not scare the lads at work. I need to get something to go with this, definitely. But I like this. And not only that, she also got me, bless her lovely little socks, a dress. Now she was worried I wouldn't like them because she got them from Primark. But I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm not a snob when it comes to clothes. You're talking to somebody that has merchandising sessions in charity shops. So I'm not going to stick my nose up at her. It's the thought that counts and that's all that matters. And I, I love, I love it. That's the main thing. I actually love this bloody dress. Look at it. I don't know if you can see it. I may need to put it on. Let's put it on. Now I know you can't really see the bottom half of me. It ends just above my knees. I'm going to attempt to stand now. There we go. There's the bottom half. Look, you can see it just about. So it's it's not too short. I like the way that it fits there, that pattern. I don't look like a fat thump in it. That's my bum looking it. That's the main thing. Oh, big. Oh. My bum looks big in everything. There's nothing I can do about the bum. But I like this, it's really classy. Like she said, I don't know if you want to wear it for work or not, but I could wear this for all kinds of things. Because it's really pretty and it's so smooth. Silky smooth. But those are my clothes. And those were my Christmas presents. That's 
now you've had a better look at them. I hopefully I've explained them a little bit better than them. They're going screeching like a grunchy. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I am planning on coming back later with another one. Today it was Boxing Day and it's traditional for shops to be open on Boxing Day to have like sales and things have been reduced. So obviously seeing as I've never had the opportunity or been allowed to go off and buy anything in the Boxing Day sales, I did today. And I'm going to show you in my next video what I got myself. Right, thanks again for watching. You take care of yourselves. If you've got anything to say, please do so by leaving comments down below. And that's it. I'm done. So you take care. Bye-bye for now.